Today, guys, I'm going to be showing you how to install YMAP files in GTA 5 on PC. A long time ago, I had a ton of trouble with this, but now it's so much easier. So I hope you enjoy the video. And with that said, let's get into it. We're going to be installing Villa J-Way. This is what it looks like. It's a pretty nice looking house. And there's a bunch of other different mods you can get that are YMAPs that look absolutely incredible. I use a lot of these in my videos as well. So yeah, with that said, let's go ahead and get everything we need. So we're going to download this mod right here. Like I said, there's a lot of other mods available as you can see there's a couple that popped up right here so just because we can we're gonna go ahead and install this one right here as well because it really doesn't take too long so i'm gonna download both of those i will link them both down below in the description as well you're also gonna need to install open iv and you'll also need to install map builder so this page is linked down below in the description you can subscribe to the patreon one and download those but you really don't need it simply click on the base downloads and you're just going to want to download map builder iv and then simply click on download right here and in a couple seconds it'll download and we should be good to go so we have all the mods right here open iv map builder highfield mansion and Villa J Way. So the very first thing we're gonna do is install OpenIV. Super simple, select your language, accept the terms right here, and then specify where you want it to download. After that, it'll tell you to locate your GTA directory, so then do that. And once all that's done, OpenIV will launch with a window like this. You're then gonna select Windows and start it up. Once you open it up, you're gonna wanna go to ASI Manager, and then you're gonna install all three of these. It takes like two seconds. Just make sure you do that, and then we're good to go from here. The next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and install the map builder. So we're going to open this up, open up this file, and of course we are going to be installing the OIV version for single player. If you want to do it the manual way, it's super simple. Just install Map Builder and custom maps like how you would install custom cars. Add these two files to your DLC packs folder and then add them into the DLC list. Like I said, we're going to do it the OIV way. So we're going to go to Open IV, click on Edit Mode, and select Yes. We're then simply going to open up this folder and we're going to drag this file straight into here. And then just like that, we go back to Open IV and it'll say the Map Builder Redux is ready to install. Click install and we're going to install it into our mods folder. If you don't have a mods folder yet, you definitely need to get one. All you need to do is go into your GTA directory, right click, select new, folder, and name it mods just like I did here. You're then going to copy the update folder and paste it inside of your mods folder. Once you've done that, you're good to go. You can then install it through OpenIV, and that's pretty much it. Now you have installed Map Builder, and you can start installing YMAPs. So let's go ahead and open up this Highfield Mansion. You can see there's a bunch of shit, but it's actually very simple. We're going to go into our mods folder, then go to Updates, X64, DLC Packs. We are then going to look for the Custom Maps folder, which is located right here. Open that up, open the DLC file. We're going to go to X64, Levels, GTA 5, City E, Maps, custom maps.rpf and then right here you can see it'll say marina.ymap you can actually delete that if you want to you really don't need that so what we're going to do is just drag and drop all of these ymap files straight into this folder right here just like that now that we've done that we can then close out of this file we're then going to install the villa j way by opening it up and then once again doing the exact same thing just dragging in all of these ymaps straight into this folder. We can then turn off edit mode, exit out of WinRAR, exit out of OpenIV, and start up GTA 5. All right, so we have now loaded into GTA 5. We're gonna go ahead and go into no clip mode now by using our mod menu. All right, so let's head on over to the first location where one of these houses should appear, which is just over here. As you can see, as we get closer, it starts to load everything in. And there it is. So let's head back onto the ground right here. All right, let's drive right on in. I really like the way the gate opens. And we got this long ass bridge to drive up. This specific YMAP file isn't my favorite one, but it is still pretty cool. Like I said, there are tons of these out there and they tend to look way better than the map editor files and the menu files as well. All right, so now that we're up here, let's drive into this area right here. And right there, we got our beautiful garage. If you don't want to park it in the garage though, we can just head straight on up. And then we have another area where we can park right up here. And I'm not even going to bother to take a tour through the house. I will let you guys do that on your own time. Of course, there is still another house that we installed. So let's go make sure that works perfectly and head on over to that location, which is somewhere on one of these mountains. I don't know exactly where, but we should be able to find it. And there it is. Look at this. This looks beautiful. Let's start from the street all the way down here. All right. So here's the entrance right here. I'm assuming the gate will open the same way. Absolutely stunning. Now this house... The entrance does look a whole lot nicer. Look at this shit. 
All right, and just like that, we have reached the top. There's some parking right there, and there's also a garage entrance right here where we could park. We got a nice infinity pool there as well. And the one cool thing about this massive mansion is the fact that we got a helipad right there. And then, of course, there's a freaking runway. So if we wanted to get a plane, we could get a plane and take off. Like I said, I am not going to be taking a tour of this mansion at the current moment. I will let you guys do that on your own time. But that is pretty much going to wrap the video up. That is how you install YMAP files in GTA 5. It's super simple and there is tons of them out there. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. And with that said, I will catch you guys in the next one.